Nebraska's only Democratic congressman wants to return to Washington. Representative Brad Ashford kicked off his reelection campaign tonight. But two Republicans are chomping at the bit to defeat him after only one term. Both parties are expected to spend big money on the seat in District 2. Tonight, reporter Nick Starling caught up with everybody in the race. In front of a room full of supporters, Representative Brad Ashford announced he's seeking re-election Monday night. Look, we've done some things good. We can do a lot, a lot of things better. Uh, we've got, we've got to be more optimistic. Ashford says he wants to keep working on issues that he feels are important. We need to stop over-regulating what we do. And Nebraskans don't need regulation; they need innovation, and we need to invest in our. This is Ashford's first term in office and reflected on what he's accomplished so far. Get the uh, national defense authorization bill done, to get the Ebola training center language so that we can build an Ebola training center, to, to bring the veterans clinic almost to point. But Ashford will face some opposition from at least two Republican candidates. Current Douglas County Commissioner Chip Maxwell says Ashford isn't the right guy for the job. We need people who are going to dig in and fight for fiscal reform. We can't keep doing business uh, the same way we have year after year after year. Newcomer Don Bacon, who spent 30 years in the Air Force, says he wants to add a military voice for Nebraskans in Congress. I'll be the most senior military member retired in Congress once elected, and we have a record low number of veterans serving in Congress right now. And I understand ISIS. I've served four deployments in the Middle East, so I know about the Sunni and the Shia divide. What's going on in Syria? I've worked in Israel to help them stand up their ballistic missile defense system. Mm -hmm. So, not going to be a strong voice for our national security. The Nebraska Republican primary is May 10th. The general election is November 8th. Reporting in Omaha, Nick Starling, KMTV Action 3 News. In